pulling into the dealership now. Not sure where I should park, but I guess I'll just pull up. Ooh, look at that Hellcat right there. Um, I'm a couple minutes late. I'm about five minutes late, so hopefully they still take me. Let's see what they say. Hi, I'm good. I have an appointment for um, So I think that the lifters are ticking a little louder than they should. I know the 5.7 is kind of known for that. They are. But uh, I want to get it checked out by someone. I can maybe try to, but I'm, I mean, I'm not a tech, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, a lifter noise would usually be there all the time, so do yeah. you have to drive it to hear it? Um, it has to, That that's the thing, is I'm not sure what it is. It's only between like 1,000 to 2,500 RPMs, and it goes away. Okay. I mean, I can definitely note that down on the paperwork so uh -huh. they know that we're kind of listening to that specific uh -huh. RPM range and all that. Um, but do they, so uh, here, let, we'll go out to your car. We'll okay. Here. It um. By the way, it has like an unlocked PCM and stuff for for tunes. I don't know if that makes a difference. It can, yeah. It yeah, can. you want to be careful about that uh -huh. kind of stuff, especially when you have a car that has warranty, yeah. because that could possibly okay. adversely affect okay. your warranty. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I kind of noticed that. Um, okay. You know, I mean, we, we, we know that... Does, it, does it come up on the thing? What's that? That the computer's unlocked. Uh, that I may not be able to see, but I mean, we it does scan it and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm just interested to see what it, if it, if it comes up. Yeah, so you're you're actually gonna have issues right now, man. Okay. I don't I don't know if you if we'll it, it, I'm gonna have a conversation with you right now. I'm gonna be very <sighs> so when they plug the thing into the OBD2 port, they can tell that it it has a tune. So um, they're saying that that could void my warranty. I expected to have this conversation already. Um, he's saying that he doesn't want to go forward with the process of even searching. But if the warranty's already voided, I don't really, I don't know what the point of not going through the process would be. So, um, yeah. Um, I just gotta grab one of my guys real quick. This is Eli. He's one of our heavy line right. techs that I'm does a lot of the uh, engine work, internal engine work. Okay, cool. Now, I, I mean, I just kind of stopped him so he's not able to like go out on a test drive, but I don't know if you want to start it up and maybe give yeah. it a little bit of throttle. Of course. Because you said it's about, what, what like 1,500 to... Uh, to like 2,500 RPM. It's not all the time. It's like sometimes it happens when it kicks into four-cylinder mode and, and other times it doesn't. Something you've seen on the on the Hemi's when the NPS kicks in that it makes additional noise or anything because I know they all they're all a little noisy. Yeah, they're all a little and, noisy. You know, and then you also hear the injectors. You have the injector pulse yeah. that you hear, and then you have the. Okay. Yeah. But, I mean, we'll we'll see what we can. Okay. If we can hear anything that's going on. We're just kind of trying to figure out if he does even need to worry about leaving it or anything else. Yeah. Rev it for them a little bit. You got headers, huh? Ah, they're shorties. I didn't mess with the cats or anything. Yeah, no, because you do have an exhaust leak. Yeah, it's yeah, an exhaust hear, leak. You could hear an yeah. exhaust leak right when you first started it up. You could? Yeah. yeah. And that's like for sure an exhaust leak and not the... Yeah, well, what I heard, you, yeah. You could hear an exhaust leak, yeah. Okay. You know, so now whether if it has an exhaust leak and something else, yeah. I don't know. Okay. But we could definitely, when you first started it up, you could hear, hear, like you a, could hear an yeah. exhaust leak. Sounded like a playing card in a flight yeah. spoke yeah. or something. Yeah. Okay. So definitely heard that. Um, okay. Nothing else really as we were kind of giving it a little bit of throttle, just normal, you know, normal noise. But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely has an exhaust leak. Have you guys seen too many issues with like the 16s or have they been? 
No, not so much the 16s or anything like that. Um, you know, I mean, we have seen an issue on just the, the Hemi engine itself, yeah. you know, over time sometimes, you know, the, yeah, what wears out, the, the, what goes bad, the liquor, the liquor yeah, collapses. The yeah, uh -huh. the city destroys the camp. Yeah. But uh -huh. for people, like, they, they, they let them idle a lot. Oh, okay. They let them do their maintenance. Yeah, because I, like, I know you don't believe me because I have exhaust and stuff, but I baby this thing. Like I, it's gone through. It's synthetic oil. I changed it myself 300 miles ago. Like it's yeah, yeah. I mean, so yeah, definitely an exhaust leak, but nothing else right now anyway. That, okay, that's yeah. showing. Okay, yeah, believe me, we want you to have a problem so we can make money. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. Okay, um, you know, well, I appreciate. Your, your input, and I appreciate you telling me about the warranty thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you gotta definitely want to be cautious about that. That's okay, it. cool. And, um, thank you. Yeah, thank you for your help. Uh, is Dave here? I heard you were talking about maybe lift noise or something. Yeah, uh, sounds like I was being paranoid. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Hemi, right? Yeah, it's yeah. the five seven. A little tap 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 tap. Yeah. At the exactly. start is normal. I heard one on uh, uh, six point seven the other day that was just goes right away but mm -hmm. I like I explained to him I said that's race engine I said what you're dealing with is an actual race engine <laughs> you can yeah you can beat on and to be honest I baby the thing so any little different sound I hear kind of throws me off you know what I mean right right so um but I've gone a couple thousand with it changed the oil no issues it's been good huh yeah Perfect. hopefully such a nice ride thank you I um I wanted to get it checked out too because I'm probably gonna do like internal stuff soon. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make sure, sure everything make it go was, fast. Yeah. Third. A O. Yeah. Well, right on. I hope you have a nice time. Thank you. And uh, take care. Alright guys, so you are sitting on my dash right now, so I apologize if you are moving around at all. Make sure the music's off. Um and I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Okay, so you guys heard him. They say it's exhaust leak still. I'm going to believe them. I know a dude named Dave here. Dave is a very honest guy. These dudes are, are very nice. Um, I have no reason not to believe them. I was hoping that it was just an exhaust leak, so um, perhaps this is a good thing that they're just sending me home. Uh, I do appreciate that he told me about the warranty thing. Um, Once again, I'm not sure if that would have made a difference anyway, because if they're going to void the warranty next time I come out here, um, my warranty would be void uh, in total. So I guess maybe it's a good thing because if, you know, a colossal engine failure occurs, then I can try to make a warranty claim then. But if you guys do have a tuner, they can detect it. It said it nice and clear on the screen for them. It was a little red. Um, uh, exclamation point that comes up on their tablets so if you're worried about warranty obviously don't tune your car that I already pretty much knew that it's no surprise according to them nothing's wrong with the car they said they haven't seen any issues with the 16s it's mostly from idling and um, not maintaining the vehicle my car does pretty much neither of those things uh, it's not really idling much because it's not a police car and then as you guys know I baby this thing hopefully this will be the end of that paranoia for me hopefully uh, if they said something that you guys were worried about and gave you a little insight uh, for your cars as well hopefully this helps you anyways I'm on a scary California freeway right now and I want to get home in one piece so uh, if I have anything else to say I'll Actually, I think that's going to be it, so I hope you guys have a fantastic day, fantastic, safe weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.